Hey everybody, Wolf Lord Bro here. Before I begin today, a big thank you to Daniel for the virtual gift voucher. Thank you very much for the support, my friend. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. But, on to today. Now, you didn't think that I'd let Black Templars Week roll by and not discuss Grimaldus and Hell's Reach, did you? I would have had a riot on my hands. Oh no, we have to discuss Hell's Reach. And today we take a look as Grimaldus and the people of Hell's Reach stand. Spoiler warning to begin, the events we are discussing today are from the novel Hell's Reach by ADB. As always, I really recommend you read the story for yourself first, as that's the best way to enjoy the lore for yourself. Not only that, we help to support the Great Black Library and Games Workshop, because without them, we don't have this amazing lore to talk about. I will put a link in the description as always. And I have to say guys, if you want one novel to read, to understand the character of the Black Templars, then you cannot go wrong with this. It is filled with great moments, it really is. But with all that said, let's just jump straight in. Now, Hell's Reach is named after the Hive City that Reclusiarch Grimaldus was tasked with defending during the Third War for Armageddon. It was Grimaldus who would lead Crusade Hell's Reach, while Helbrecht commanded the fleet above, taking the fight to the Orc enemy. But Grimaldus was not happy about this, seeing it as a huge dishonour to be sent to the hives below whilst his brethren waged glorious war in the void above. And that's an interesting insight into the mind of a Black Templar, and more specifically Grimaldus. Viewing being sent to the ground of Armageddon to defend Hive Hell's Reach as a dishonour. Compare that to, say, the Salamanders, who would see it as the complete opposite and would actually see their place among the people, aiding them in any way they can, for the inevitable greenskin assault, no matter the odds. But despite his objections, he accepts Helbrecht's command and leads the crusade to the hive below, preparing the defences as best he can for the inevitable greenskin assault. For this is a war of Gazkol Fracker. It would not be stopped. And it's only a matter of time before the reports from the fleets above come through. They are in full retreat. The enemy is breaking through. They cannot be stopped. And Grimaldus receives word from Helbrecht himself. Hell's Reach, this is the Crusader. We are breaking from the planet. The orbital war is lost. Repeat, the orbital war is lost. Grimaldus, once you hear these words, stand ready. You are Mordred's heir and my trust rides with you. Hell is coming, brother. The great enemy's fleet is without number, but faith and fury will see your duty done. Grimaldus, die well. The enemy is limitless. The Greenskins have come for Armageddon. Grimaldus will die within the walls of Hell's Reach but he'll be damned if he won't take as many of the Greenskins with him as he can. And in the hours that follow, the horizon begins to fill with the Orc landing craft, anti-air batteries unleashing at any that stray too close to the walls, sending wreckage plummeting onto the people of the Hive below. But it's not enough, a mere drop in the ocean compared to the number that come and more and more craft land their greenskin cargo. And as Grimaldus and his men prepare themselves on the battlements, Grimaldus views the ordinary men and women about them. Trained and equipped veterans, no doubt, but human nonetheless. Sweat and fear fills the air. Do you see that? He asked quietly. At first, only silence followed. Hesitantly, 
the guard soldiers began to cast glances to each other, uncomfortable with the chaplain's presence and confused by his behaviour. All eyes were on him now. Grimaldus aimed his mace out to the advancing hordes. Thousands. Tens of thousands. And only the very beginning. Do you see that? He roared at the humans. The closest ranks flinched back from the mechanical bark that issued almost deafeningly loud from his skull helm. Answer me. He received several trembling nods. Yes, sir, uttered a handful of them. Grimaldus turned back to the wasteland, already dark with the teeming, chaotic ranks of the enemy. At first, his helm emitted a low, vox-distorted chuckle. Within a few seconds, he was laughing. Laughing up at the burning sky, while aiming his crozier's hammer at the enemy. Are you all as insulted as I am? This is what they send against us? He turned back to the men, the laughter fading, but amused contempt filling his voice, even through the inhumanizing vocalizers of his helm. This is what they send? This rabble? We hold one of the mightiest cities on the face of the planet. The fury of its guns sends all skyborne enemies to the ground in flames. We stand united in our thousands, our weapons without number, our purity without question, and our hearts beating courage through our blood. And this is how they attack us. Brothers and sisters, a legion of beggars and alien dregs wheezes its way across the plains. Forgive me when the moment comes that they whine and weep against our walls. Forgive me that I must order you to waste ammunition upon their worthless bodies. Grimaldus paused, lowering his weapon at last, turning his back on the invaders as if bored by their very existence. His entire attention was focused upon the soldiers below him. I have heard many souls speak my name in whispers since I came to Hell's Reach. I ask you now, do you know me? Yes, several voices replied, several among the hundreds. Do you know me? He bellowed at them over the firing of the wall guns. Yes, a chorus answered now. I am Grimaldus of the Black Templars, a brother to the Steel Legions of this defiant world. A muted cheer greeted his words. It wasn't enough, not even close. Never again in life will your actions carry such consequence. Never again will you serve as you serve now. No duty will matter as much, and no glory will taste as true. We are the defenders of Hell's Reach. On this day, we carve our legend in the flesh of every alien we slay. Will you stand with me? Now the cheers came in truth. They thundered in the air around him. Will you stand with me? Again a roar. Sons and daughters of the Imperium, our blood is the blood of heroes and martyrs. The Xenos dare defile our city. They dare tread the sacred soil of our world. We will throw their bodies from these walls when the final day dawns. A wave of noise crashed against his armor as they cheered. Grimaldus raised his war maul, aiming it to the embattled heavens. This is our city. This is our world. Say it. Say it. Cry it out so the bastards in orbit will hear our fury. Our city. Our world. Laughing again, Grimaldus turned to face the oncoming horde. Run, alien dogs. Come to me. Come to us all. Come and die in blood and fire. The reclusiarch cut the air with his crozius, as if ordering his men forward. For the Templars. For the Steel Legion. For Hell's Reach. Oh man, does that get you pumped or what? Grimaldus and Hell's Reach stands. Like I said before, this novel gives you a real great insight into the mindset of the Black Templars. 
the almost fanatical zeal they have in glory and honour for their crusade, in giving their life in service of the Emperor. And surprisingly, despite the disdain many of them have for the mere humans of the Imperium, it's almost as if defending the people is a byproduct of prosecuting the Xenos, a happy side effect rather than the reason. There is no doubting the loyalty they inspire. And we do see Grimaldus' opinion change somewhat as the story progresses. But here there is no doubt. He has the people of Hell's Reach ready to give everything against the Greenskins. And man, I almost wish I was on the battlements myself. Like I said, it really is a great story to follow. The build-up is slow to begin, but once it gets going, man is it on. But as always guys, what do you think? A fan of Hell's Reach? A fan of Grimaldus? Were you surprised with the character arc that Grimaldus goes through throughout this novel? I really became a fan of the Black Templars by the end of it. It was a fantastic job by ADB, absolutely no doubt. And this novel in particular did a fantastic job with the human side stories. So many others kind of dropped the ball, but here, absolutely not the case. They keep you just as invested. If you haven't read it before, trust me, you will not be disappointed. But as always guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. A huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support really means a lot to me, it truly does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. And if you enjoyed this particular vid, then why not drop a like on it too. But with that said, I am off and I'll see you all again tomorrow for the last day of Black Templars Week.